Hello my friends, it is Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been a while since I've sat in front of the camera, but today I thought it would be fun to share a kind of a home haul with you today. I did a little bit of shopping. Macy, this past weekend, we spent four days in Des Moines, Iowa. I drove there as a road trip. Five and a half hour drive, but the shopping was incredible compared to some of the stores that we have here. Uh, Kirkland's was one of those that I wanted to make sure to go to, and like Home Goods and TJ Maxx, and so I had the twins with me, so we were a little bit limited as far as home shopping goes, but I was still able to score some fun finds that I wanted to share with you in today's video. <laughs> I will start off with Kirkland's. Now, they were just putting out their fall decor, so I didn't spend too much time looking through that, but the items I did pick up, I'm really excited about, and uh, I would like to still do a shop with me for fall decor there at our local store. When I say local, it's about an hour and a half drive for me, so I'm thinking that might happen once the kids are in school. We'll see how it all goes. If if we happen to be in the area before then, maybe it'll be then, but yeah, I might be closer to the end of August, which is okay because I wanna have a chance to look through all my old fall decor before buying a bunch of new things because we all know I love me some pumpkins and fall decor. I have a lot, so really don't need to go too crazy this year, but it's always fun to get to Kirkland's and see what things they have. And they had some really cute new items. So let me show you what I did pick up. Still in the bags. I had set it aside just to um, share with you and I cannot wait to start trying them out around the house. The first thing, you will not be surprised <laughs> to know <laughs> that it's pillows. I have a pillow obsession. I cannot even lie to you about that. Now these are actually going to go out on my fall front porch that I will be sharing with you. I just saw these and they just were screaming front porch to me. They're not like your average size pillow. I'd say they're a little bit smaller and I love me some plaid for fall. I love it all year round. Um, but I saw these and I'm like, these would be perfect on our rocking chairs on the porch. So like I said, they are a little bit smaller. They're not like a nice big full pillow. So I think these will be great. Now these are not outdoor rated or anything like that. I might spray them um, with that. I don't even remember what it's called, but the all weather stuff that you can. But our porch for the most part is covered. So I think they will be okay. So I grabbed two of these. They are super soft. I think they will be really cute on our rocking chairs, which I can show you those too here at the end. Our new rockers did come and I put those together a couple days ago. That was an adventure. It's 90 degrees out and I'm like putting together rocking chairs. Anyways, these were, I think everything was 25% off. I cannot remember, but normally $19.99. Now they are like a navy blue, however, I didn't realize that in the store. I was thinking it was black. So uh, I think they'll still look okay on the porch. If not, they might go on our back deck for fall. I'm not sure. They might make their way somewhere else around the house if they don't look good with my black rockers. But it is a navy, um, a taupe, and a like a pumpkin-y orange. The next item from Kirkland's, I think this actually comes in two sizes. This is the larger size. I did not see a smaller one. I may end up picking up the other one. I'm not quite sure yet. I haven't styled it yet, but I picked up one of these. They're like book boxes, but they're just a very natural beigey color. So just a basic book box. They do open. So that's nice, you can store some things if I'm hiding the remotes from the kids or something like that. Or that I, oh, this could fit an iPad. I could hide it from them in here. Although they'd probably figure it out eventually. But anyways, I was thinking some sort of shelving. I have my open shelves in the living room that I'm always looking to add some pieces or just elevate something. So I picked up one of these boxes. What was it? $24.99, yeah, beige linen faux book. And the last thing that I picked up from Kirkland's is the most exciting. Now this is not super heavy, which I was really happy about because they've had other ones in the past and they've been so heavy. Like I was afraid I was going to break them. So I picked up one of these large bowls. Is this wooden? I'm not sure what it's made out of. Does it say? Bowl, white wood rope handles, $39.99. Now this is a giant bowl. I of course was drawn to the rope handles as I'm going for more of that coastal modern look is 
how things have been going. But I was thinking, you know, bowl full of pumpkins would be super cute, like on my built-in shelves. This would also be a really cute, like coffee table centerpiece, although this is probably too big for our coffee table. A table, kitchen table centerpiece. I'm also planning, my hutch is coming next week, my black arched hutch. So I'll share that in probably my next vlog. This would also, I think, work on one of those shelves if I wanted to do that. So just really looking for some bigger items to fill my shelves without it being like super overwhelming. So this is a versatile piece. I love these types of pieces because you can change out the decor that is in them from season to season. So fall, you could even do like potpourri. Um, I'm planting pumpkins. Um, Christmas time you can do Christmas balls or decorations or just greenery in here I think would be super pretty. There's just so, a lot of flexibility with this. You could even make this a fruit bowl if you have a lot of fruit. But yeah, I'm excited to style this on my shelves. Home Goods was all about Charlie. I don't know. They just have like the best dog section. It was like aisle upon aisle of all the dog things. So it was fun to look through it all. And of course the kids are really excited to find things for him. So the first thing we grabbed was this giant dog bone basket for our living room. It was $24.99. Now they did have more of the rattan looking ones, but I've been afraid to buy those like with chewing and things like that. Charlie's out of that phase with like, he's never really chewed any furniture, but um, we're at that point where he's almost two now and I can trust him a little bit more. So we bought him a nice dog toy basket. Now the kids already put this out for him like immediately when we got home, they set it up in our living room and dumped all his toys in there. And I do have to say, I actually really like this because the other basket we were using was way too small for one, but two now there's like, I don't know, there's more space for them to him specifically to see all of his toys in his basket so he can dig out his favorite one. So I love the like the pattern to it. It's like a plasticky rattan look. I don't know. Really like it. Super cute and it's huge. Besides the treats, we also grabbed Charlie. One last thing, and when we walked by it in the store, the kids could not stop giggling about this. And I, you know, dog butts. Who doesn't love them? So I've been looking for something to hang up in our little doggy corner in our laundry room just to put his leashes and we can hang other things there if we want as well, but mainly leashes on this. I think this is going to be adorable. This was $16.99. It's like a light wood. It's perfect. Exactly what I was looking for. And of course, who can resist the cute little tails on there? So I'll probably get this hung up here later today. I can show you in a, my next video what it looks like. So yeah. They loved this and we had a lot of fun looking through all the dog things. We ended up doing a lot of back to school shopping as well. So the only other item that we picked up on our little trip was at TJ Maxx. Aside from kids clothes, I did pick up one candle, pumpkin bourbon, of course it's huge, three wicks, $12.99, smells very good, more pumpkin. Not, not like super bourbon at all. I wouldn't even like say that that is in it, but Smells like fall, cannot wait. Now a lot of my fall decor is very colorful. I don't have a lot of neutral fall decor, so I thought I would go with just a very basic white candle to coordinate with a lot of those other items. I'm excited. I'm thinking next week I actually want to pull out a lot of my fall decor and start looking through it. And just to jog my memory, last fall we, were, we had our house on the market, I think, or it had sold. I can't remember. So I couldn't go all out with my fall decorating. And so this year, now that we're finally settled and I can just go crazy with fall decorating once the kids get into school. So yes, anyways, I don't wanna buy a ton of stuff, but I did wanna pick up at least one candle to get us going. The last items that I have to share with you today came from Target. Now, I have cut back tremendously on my Target runs and Target shopping lately, but Hearth and Hand just has my heart. I have a lot of uh, those pieces around our house and their new fall launch did not disappoint. I just fell in love with these items and I have plans to actually use these year round. I think these are great for fall, but you can also use these during the holidays as well as spring and summer too. So they're all like the same color, it's so funny. You tell what I'm like just drawn to right now, green. Had to quick change my camera battery, but let me show you the first thing or well, things that I picked up. Now, I initially I was not going to get these, 
but then I saw them in the store. I'm like, oh, those are actually really pretty in person. And the color is just, I love the color of them. And I cannot resist a good set of like stacking boxes. They come in two sizes stack them of course one on top of the other they do open so you can store additional things in there which i probably will do in my office just because i'm lacking the storage in that room so the small one 12.99 the larger one is 16.99 i'm just going to get this one out of the way so we can all <laughs> stop talking about my pillow obsession I grabbed these two lumbar pillows so um they have fringes on this side they're like a see that like a two-tone look to them i was looking for a set of pillows to go on our living room chairs that we have so these will end up there very pretty of course that green color that i love i think i oh, i already zipped the tag in let me see oh it doesn't say i must have oh no hold on we got it 19.99 for these and like I said, I mean, these pillows, because they're green, they would work during the holidays, but I'm thinking like winter decor. Once I take down all of my Christmas, these will be really pretty again as well. So um, I went ahead and grabbed those and I plan to use these quite a bit in my decor, not just for fall. Not too long ago, I was decorating my shelves in the kitchen and I mentioned, you know, I'm still on the lookout for more pieces. This is the perfect size and color that I was wanting to add. So also hearth in hand, $16.99, it's a green pitcher. There it is. And like I said, it's like the perfect size. It's not too like tall or big. It's not tiny either. It, it's, it was meant to be. Any guesses on the color of my next item? It's green. Green ribbed vase, what is it called? glass face again i saw this in the store this is the larger one i fell in love i'm thinking built-in shelves probably in the living room i mean you could put an arrangement in them but i think they are just beautiful on their own so this is the larger one 29.99 our store did not have the smaller one so i was able to score it online ordered the smaller one to go with it this one was 19.99 I don't think you need both, but for my, what I'm envisioning on my shelves, I think they'll just look better having two of them together in like a little set. Again, I'll probably, I don't know if I'll use these for Christmas because your girl has a lot of Christmas decor, but winter decor for sure. This one is not a new item that I picked up, but when we were in Iowa, we had to run into Target to get a couple of things and I'm like, oh, you know, we should probably look through the hearth and hand section <laughs> because, you know, you'll find something new that maybe our store doesn't have. And of course, I found something that I've been thinking about buying for our new house for a while. Finally did it now just because we are coming up on like casserole season. I love a good casserole. They're just really easy and perfect for the fall and winter. So I decided to purchase the stoneware baking dish this has the handles super pretty i do have one fiesta wear one it's a blue i still i've gotten a lot of questions about that i do still have all my fiesta wear as well we use it every single day my cabinets are full and colorful still but i do like to sprinkle in a lot of neutral pieces as well so and it's good to have two casserole dishes so got this one i'm what was it $39.99. It's kind of like a little housewarming gift to myself for our kitchen. Studio McGee at Target also had a new fall-ish launch. I didn't really see anything that I couldn't live without aside from these rugs. She always has the cutest accent rugs or woven rugs. These would be great with your front door mats. I actually ordered two of these because we desperately needed a rug by our um, slider door in our kitchen as well as the dog door. We didn't really have anything there and with going in and out constantly all day, we just needed rugs. So I grabbed two of them. I'm tempted to get another one as a backup because I love them so much, but they're just a really pretty like plaid pattern. This is the beige and gray. So it works really well with 
um, art decor, but they also had a green one as well, which I thought might be pretty for a front porch. So I'm not sure on that one yet, but these rugs are amazing. I already took the tags off because we've been using them. I actually had to go shake it out outside. Love them so much. They just look so pretty on our floors. So two of those. I think that's it for Target now. I can show you our front porch rockers here in a minute, but aside from this haul that I'm sharing with you, and probably a Kirkland's shop with me. I think that's probably about all of the fall decor that I'm planning to buy for this year. I did spin through Hobby Lobby. This was very briefly, and I might go back. Maybe in my next vlog, we can even go hit up Hobby Lobby. But I walked through the aisles, and it looked like a lot of the same stuff. Like, I don't know. I just didn't see anything that caught my eye, and it didn't really inspire me to get there and record a video either. So maybe I just need to go back when I do not have the kids with me and really look through it closer. But at the same time, I'm trying not to go too crazy with the fall decor shopping as we are still trying to furnish our new house as well. So to be determined, but let me know what you think of Hobby Lobby. Have you been impressed with what they had for fall this year? I'm sure Christmas is always amazing there, but I don't know, for fall, I just didn't see anything that I couldn't live without or maybe that I didn't already have because they've had it for like two or three years now. So yes, yeah, so if there's any other places you'd like for me to head and do some shopping, let me know in the comments below, but let's go outside to the porch and I'll show you our new rockers. Quick little peek at the rockers. So this is also from Pollywood. These are the vineyard porch rockers it was a set so you got the table and the two rockers and then I also added just for extra comfort the cushions we've been loving them so much better than the other ones the old ones are now down by our pond they're a little bit more lower profile they actually look really good with the shack and I'm loving the taller backs on these so definitely happy to have these We've already sat out here a lot more than we did before. So I'll talk more about these when we do our fall front porch, but wanted to show you these. But okay, my friends, that is going to be it for today's video. Thumbs up as always if you enjoyed it. And if you're not already subscribed, definitely make sure to do so. I am planning to kick off my decorating hard here once the kids get back into school. Cannot wait to get back into making all kinds of decorating videos, sharing it all with you and really just fallifying, that's not a word, but I like to make up my own words and just really deck out our house for fall. Coming up in my next video too should be an exciting one as my hutch, or it's a bookcase, but I'm gonna make it a hutch, arrive. So be able to show you that as well as our yard. Our yard is pretty much done now. There's a few last things that need to get taken care of, but for the most part, I mean, we have some punch list items like inside and outside that to need, can we talk, that need to get done, but for the most part, and I, I shouldn't say that I'm pregnant and jinx myself now, but it's very strange to not have people coming and going all day long. So it's nice. It's, it's weird though at the same time. But anyways, lots to share with you. Many, many updates around here. So I will see you very soon in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.